Hi, this is Kevin Clark. I'm an associate editor for America Magazine. On June 4th, I visited Grand Isle, Louisiana, where I witnessed uh, efforts to contain the oil spill from the British Petroleum blowout at Deep Horizons, to recover animals that were injured so far by the oil slick, and to try and contain the worst uh, ravages of the oil that's beginning to wash up ashore in Louisiana. We saw a lot of uh, out-of-work fishermen now in the employ of British Petroleum and its subcontractors uh, going out in the water retrieving uh, brown pelicans. Uh, some of them were obviously badly uh, endangered by the, the oil slick. They were brought to the shore at Grand Isle where they were sedated and then uh, transported for cleanup and, and hopefully uh, recovery. Uh, it's unclear what happened to the animals once they, they left the island. Uh, after that we uh, headed out to Grand Terre, one of the barrier islands off the coast of Louisiana. Uh, here the effort was related to uh, what they were calling uh, this new oil that was washing ashore. There's been a sheen of oil over the water for, for uh, days now, but this was uh, a lot of new oil coming in last night that was actually washing up on the beaches at uh, Grand Terre, which is an abandoned research facility for the state of Louisiana. Here the, uh, the oil was uh, scraped off the beaches with rakes and shovels, placed into plastic bags, and was... Uh, uh, boated off the uh, island for disposal. Um, a lot of people who are out of work because of the spill were finding uh, short-term pay uh, and, and, and work, at least with British Petroleum, cleaning up this, this mess. It's uh, uh, uncertain now, and I, no one has a really clear idea how long uh, this, this recovery effort is going to continue. Uh, the oil is still coming in, and uh, it seems like every five minutes uh, they clear the beach. They've got to go out there again and, and clear some more, and they'll just keep doing it until the oil stops coming in. This is Kevin Clark, America Magazine.